Hey guys, this is Spock Joe, and I'm playing Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my three top tips for winning out more gunfights in this game. So with no further ado, let's get started. The first tip that I have is learning how to strafe. Now strafing is simply aiming down sight and moving to the right or the left, or the left or the right. And what it does is it causes the ADS to engage um, onto the weapon and it's able to help you aim and stay locked onto enemy opponents more easily. Now, when you're strafing, it has two advantages that I can see. One is it makes you a moving target and a moving target is always harder to hit than a stationary target. And the second thing is um, it helps the ADS kick in and lock onto uh, your opponents quicker and to stay on them. When you're playing this game and you're uh, learning how to strafe or you're s using the strafe uh, technique whenever you're playing, I suggest you actually put stock on your weapon. And the reason why I say that is because stock actually helps you move faster while you're aiming down sight. And it also helps you basically lock on to people quicker. And here's an example of me uh, strafing in a gameplay and the guy is actually stationary and I'm strafing back and forth and I win out that gunfight in the end. Um, if you want to learn how to strafe better, I would suggest just going into the combat mode, uh, a combat training mode of the game and just put on a whole bunch of bots and uh, put stock onto your weapon and just practice. Um, because practice is in inevitably what's going to help you uh, use this technique better uh, in the game. The second tip that I have is this using cover whenever you can now in the game uh using cover is almost crucial and you want to use it to your advantage whenever you can there's some maps in this game where there's not really a lot of cover but you want to set yourself up knowing where the cover is and where it's not now you can use rocks you can use pillars you can use trees uh you can use vehicles you can use garbage cans um i actually use stairs as cover from time to time with cover it allows you to have a tactical advantage over your opponent now there's different types of cover that is better than others like a tree helps um helps you from getting shot but it's not an ideal cover because um whenever you want to engage in the gunfight you have to go out and expose yourself to the opponent and your whole body is right there for him to shoot. Now, cover that I prefer is cover that is more like a head glitch or allows you to look over top of it. Um, it puts it puts the cover in between you and the enemy. And a lot of times, if the enemy doesn't have cover, he's shooting and he's hitting the cover instead of you. And that gives you the advantage of hitting him fully. A little disclaimer. Vehicles will explode. Um, I would prefer using a vehicle over a tree any day of the week when it comes to cover. But just be aware, guys. Uh, when the vehicles get too much damage, they tend to explode. And that could end up throwing off your groove in the game. It could be that thing that takes you off of your kill streak or whatever. And sometimes it's pretty detrimental. Last but not least, the final tip that I have is situational awareness and what i be mean by situational awareness is basically knowing where your team is versus where the enemies are and a lot of times you can know that by um by the mini map and different things like that but what i'm trying to do is get you guys to think about how to think about or anticipate where they may be now one way that um i find is a good way of anticipating where enemies are is looking at the mini map and seeing where my teammates are and where my teammates aren't uh nine times out of ten the enemy is not going to be in the midst of where my teammates are they're going to be in that area where my teammates aren't and so looking at the mini map you know that there is an unknown there and so what's going to help you win out in more gunfights is maybe going around a corner into one of those areas and having your gun drawn if your gun's already drawn and you know little areas to pinpoint where the enemy might be that's going to help you in your situational awareness now another thing that i would say that helps out in situational awareness is uh 
the UAV. UAV is just a must have if you want to win out in more gunfights. And, and the reason why I say that is, is because if you know where the enemy is, um, if he's a blip in the map, uh, it's gonna help you know how to have, excuse me, it's gonna help you have more options going into that gunfight. Where, whether you need to duck behind some cover or whether you need to surprise them by jumping um, around a corner or, or whatever. A an example would be, uh, there's times where I've looked at the mini-map, I've got a UAV going, and I see someone blip in a corner of a room. And so what I tend to do is, uh, if I know where they're at, I try to give them the element of surprise. So I'll really quickly burst into the room, up into the air, aim at that corner, shoot at them, uh, Nine times out of ten, I win the gunfight. Uh, there's that percentage where they've got a shotgun and they just blitz me. But uh, point being, uh, knowing where they're at, that is a huge advantage that you have to win more gunfights. Now, one of the last things I want to talk about, being aware of whether you're outmatched or not. And what I mean is, is what kind of weapon do they have? Are they running a shotgun are they running a sniper rifle? Um, depending on what kind of weapon they're using, sometimes we'll give them a tactical advantage over you. Knowing when you run into multiple uh, opponents, uh, many times, a lot of, uh, excuse me, a lot of times, uh, most players will just start firing and try to take out as many guys as possible. But sometimes if you know that there's two or three guys, you can duck around a corner find some cover or some tactical advantages that you may have over them so that when you do get into that engagement, you're able to take them out and uh, win that gunfight. Now, I hope that these tips were helpful. Um, there's many more uh, tips that I, I do have. Uh, let me know in the comments below what things you guys are trying to figure out in this game. If you like this video, please share, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.